Hello guys, PUBG Mobile, you can do it right now. PUBG Mobile new update is here. In this video, I'm gonna do first 90 FPS for new PUBG Mobile update. Alright, uh, let's update it. Now it's getting updated. So it's still new map is not here, I think, in this update. Maybe it's all locked for right now. So let's run this game. Some of you have uh, told me that after this update, the 90 FPS is not going well. So I have already prepared a file for new pubg mobile maybe these files will gonna help me help it out i uh, will see first thing it's important that if uh, there is a like special update for uh, galaxy s22 exynos you know like it's still locked into low fps so maybe this update bring back to uh, extreme frame rate we'll see so this is new update we'll see it seems that 90 fps is working so let's see how it looks like so it looks like so many different things is going on so like it's completely looks different the ui is interesting but unfortunately it's still it's locked in high fps so there is no extreme frame rate you know like high is locked into sd sdr is still not available so it's uh, really worse right so let me check into if this 90 fps is working or not So it seems that 90 fps is uh, working very well but uh, if you want like exclusive 90 fps for this game then you need to update this file also so i have prepared this file you know what i mean so i have prepared the file i have already downloaded so you can find in the in the link below you can find the links you can download this so if you have still already followed my previous video then you just need to download the file which is like it's in a zip file you just need to extract here right you just need to extract this uh, zip file after you download if you have followed my previous video then it's a step forward is the same method if you are new to, to forcing 90 fps then check the previous video all right it's the same process uh in the previous video so right now we have already done yeah, this file and now to make uh, more stable 90 fps then we just need to go inside the file android data and the pubg mobile folder then send that ig files if you are uh, followed my previous video just you don't need to do anything you know like you just need to just delete this u4 game and the paste the new latest version right that's simple so if you haven't uh, done 90 fps before then you need to come in this uh, file like com.tencentig and then you have to long press u for game and rename it uh, i have already renamed this was u uh, for game so i just rename it and it's a completely different name so you need to do like that and then you are you will follow the next step right so if you have already done this then you just need to delete this u4 game and just bring back to new u4 game with this folder so if you are new to this uh, forcing 90 fps then i highly suggest to follow my previous video this is very straightforward you know like what i mean you just now you go to download folder you have already extracted this uh, 2.2 update so inside there is a u4 game with uh, new latest version so long press it go back to device memory and android data and find this uh mobile folder come down tencent.ig and go inside files and just you just need to paste it out here no you know it's so still forward method um it's just a few steps and you have a like very very stable 90 fps gaming right so now it's already copied you know like if you want to change the uh, update you just need to delete the u4 game if it's not working then you just need to delete this u4 game and again paste it it should work perfectly fine and if you go want to go back to 60 fps you can find this 60 fps folder in my channel just download and extract 
and you just need to do you don't need to do anything you just go inside the files you just delete the u4 game and this copy this 60 fps u4 game here and this game should run uh, constantly in 60 fps so let's check the game let's open this game let's just open this arcade game you know like we'll see just how it goes so 90 fps is working perfectly fine but for Exynos devices, I highly recommend to disable game optimizing service to have a stable game. The game is really, really smooth now. I don't feel any kind of uh, frame drops or any lags. Of course, uh, it's a rendering effect, so you will see the lag fluctuation in FPS. Maybe I will prepare the next video. So in next video, I will like maybe do like a live FPS with uh, 90 FPS, and we'll see like how it works in the long run, right? Where the fuck is he? All right, so that's it. I don't have any help for. So this file is working perfectly fine. So you have this file in the link below. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section. Of course, I will be doing 90 FPS uh, with the live FPS and see how it runs in the my in the next video. Till then, thanks for watching. Take care.